Yes, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to this session of Sustainable Construction Methods. Today we'll be uh, seeing this topic Recycled Aggregate Concrete. As uh, uh, construction has been taking up uh, place at a very rapid uh, pace from a very long time, uh, where we can see the construction of RCC structures are more uh, rampant than, uh, uh, than compared to those structures which don't require steel and concrete. Uh, like structures which are made up in rural areas. But what is the problem happening is uh, where the uh, uh, RCC structures are coming up with uh, time they have even demolished. Now what about this waste which we, have, we are getting after this demolition. So that waste uh, we want to come up with some uh, uh, solutions or some uh, uh, different uh, things where we can use this waste. Let us see that uh, how is it. We will see that here. We will first see what is the recycled aggregate concrete. We will see the introduction here. Then we will see what literature survey has been done on this uh, what research has been done on this uh, uh, re recycled aggregate concrete then we'll be seeing what is processing how how is this recycled aggregate concrete got how do we process it how is it achieved and uh, how do we uh, use it in the fresh concrete and uh, results and discussion in this we'll be seeing what are the properties of recycled aggregate concrete we'll see the properties we'll be seeing the mixed proportions what mixed proportion we'll be taking and uh, we'll be checking uh, that mix how does it perform then we'll be seeing the slump test also and a compression test basically slump test uh, is done to check the workability how how does this uh, concrete perform in terms of uh, uh, mixing compacting and placing it uh, on the site and then the compression also what is the strength uh, does it achieve does it uh, achieve the required desired strength uh, what we get from the uh, fresh concrete or the concrete in which the materials that is the coarse aggregate and fine aggregate and the cement and the water content when it is mixed uh, the strength what is, is achieved from that concrete does this recycled concrete achieve that strength that will be seeing it here and next the modules of, of, of elasticity test this test is very much important even that will be checked and next we'll come to some conclusion how does this recycled aggregate concrete perform let us see here uh, what is now recycled aggregate are compromised of crushed graded crushed graded inorganic materials processed from material that have been used in construction and demolition debris as i had told you when uh, where the number of uh, structures are coming up day by day and uh, uh, many of the structures also have to be demolished to uh, as uh, people require new good structures now what about that demolition debris so this uh, recycled uh, aggregate is got from this demolition debris which is in a very uh, in, in huge quantity it is in very huge quantity basically it is just uh, uh, becoming debris and wastage this wastage we we want to see how this wastage can be used utilized for uh, again construction for new construction of structures these materials are generally from buildings these are from buildings roads bridges and sometimes even from catastrophes such as wars and earthquakes well uh, basically this concrete is taken up from buildings roads and bridges because uh, uh, th these are the these are the structures which uh, consist of uh, concrete Concrete. So we are, we get this recycled concrete from these uh, structures. Recycled aggregate is generally produced by two stages. You can see a first it is produced in two stages. First is the crushing of demolished concrete, screening and removal of contaminants such as reinforcement, plastic, etc. So first what do we do is we first we take this recycled concrete. Then what do we do? We in two stages we crush it because it is not in the desired form. Basically this recycled concrete we, we want to use it as a coarse aggregate we want to use it as a coarse aggregate we do have uh, the concrete uh, 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 mix uh, compro compromises of uh, fine aggregate uh, coarse aggregate cement and water so we want to use this recycled aggregate in uh, in replacement for the coarse aggregate so what do we do is we first take it we crush it the crush this demolished concrete screen it and removal of contaminants such as reinforcement and plastic etc so as you know so this uh, RCC structures they contain uh, reinforcement also inside once these uh, uh, recycled concrete is taken after 
the crushing, we'll have to remove this uh, reinforcement also, which is inside as well as some plastic materials. If they are there, even that those have to be removed here. Then the concrete made with such aggregates is called as recycled aggregate concrete. Hope this is clear to, uh, to you now. What is recycled aggregate concrete? Basically, this concrete is that concrete which is used from the demolition of previous and the old buildings of RCC buildings or uh, bridges and sometimes different uh, other structures also. So that uh, uh, concrete is taken and they are crushed and got to a specific size as we need and then screening is done and removal of uh, other uh, materials such as reinforcement and if even uh, other plastic materials are present in it, even those are removed here. Concrete made with such aggregates is called a, re a recycled aggregate concrete. Demolition of old and deteriorated buildings and traffic infrastructure and their substitution with new ones is frequent phenomena today in large part of the world. So this is taking a place. Uh, new buildings are coming up. You, you can see demolition taking place uh, every now and then. As, uh, everybody wants to come up with good structures. Though RCC structures are there, but still as they have gone old, they want to replay, they want to construct new structures at those places. So you can just imagine what amount of recycled aggregate is, uh, uh, what amount of demolition debris is generated so we need to, to we, we we need to come up with some uh, uh, solution where we can use use this recycled aggregate and come up uh, use this as the main content in replacement for coarse aggregate and we get the desired and we achieve the desired results let us see a recent research of Ferrodonia group has found global demand of aggregates for construction is increasing. You can just see here, it is increasing to such a, a big uh, 46 billion metric tons in 2011. You can just see the requirement, the requirement for aggregates is, is increasing day by day. You can just see a 46 billion metric tons in 2011 and 51 billion metric tons in 2019. You can just see a, you, you, there is a very uh, a big huge increase in uh, requirement of aggregate. So we need to to as the demand is increasing as the demand is increasing uh, we need to come up with uh, some other solutions also where this demand can be fulfilled so for that what we'll have to do is we we are uh, trying to use the that recycled aggregate we are trying to use that debris which we have got from the old buildings which can be used again and the desired strength can be achieved here let us see here in addition, uh, construction and demolition waste are genera generated annually in the world. You can just see uh, the demolition waste that is being generated uh, annually in the world. That is 14.5 million tons in India. Just in India, uh, you can see the requirement is 51 million tons, uh, metric tons, 51 million metric tons in the world. Whereas only the demolition waste that is being generated here in India is 14.5 million tons. So you can see this is a very huge amount of demolition debris which we are getting. If this is not used uh, uh, in a proper manner, then this is uh, going to pollute the environment also and other, uh, 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 other problems also we'll have with this. 13 million tons in France, you can see there's 13 million tons of debris is there in France, demolition waste, 10 to 15 million tons in Japan and 20 million tons in Hong Kong. If you total all of this, if you total all of this, you can see uh, it is already given here investigation results of environmental resources uh, for EEC European Economic Community member countries found 55 million tons by 1980 and 302 million tons by 2020 see you can just see a requirement is only 51 metric tons whereas here the debris is 302 million tons it is a very huge debris is uh, we are getting huge amount of debris if this is uh, used effectively in a very proper manner the want also the demand also can be fulfilled as well as this uh, waste can also uh, be reduced and uh, thereby reducing the pollution in the environment also so let us see what can we do see this is this is how the recycled aggregate the recycled aggregate has got from the demolition site and then they are uh, they are crushed you can see the sizes of this aggregate this is a bit, little bit big these sizes are big this is a little big uh, little smaller the, to that size and this is a little bit more smaller so different sizes of aggregates are present they are crushed now these can be used as boulders and these these can be used uh, in roads also when we in in roads when we uh, lay the roads uh, because the road consists of different layers we have the sub base course we have 
the different uh, layers what we have in the road is you have this this is the surface course this is the surface course then we have the base course this is the base course we have sub base course then we have the surface course so this, uh, this, uh, th these type of boulders can be used a little bit smaller size. These sizes can be used in the base course also. They can be used in this base course. They can be used here in the base course. Whereas uh, these types where uh, these type of uh, aggregate which are a little bit smaller, they can be used in the uh, top layers also. And uh, they can be specifically used in construction uh, for, of uh, laying of uh, your foundation as well as your columns and beams and slabs also but uh, we'll have to check how do they perform that is more important uh, basically how do uh, these uh, this aggregate performs that is important here let us see here uh, literature survey so some of the survey has been done from the previous reports as has been seen how do they perform in 2000 uh, these uh, uh, researchers have found out that recycled aggregate concrete has seven to nine percent lower relative density and two times higher uh, 7 to 9 percent you can see here it is 7 to 9 percent of lower relative density and two times higher water absorption two times higher water absorption than natural aggregate so this uh, the, 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 uh, this problem is there where the water content is increasing still uh, still the demolition waste can be reduced but only the problem is the two times water content is increasing and the relative density is also increasing by 7 to 9 percent even this water content problem can be reduced if we add some super plasticizers basically what the super plasticizers do is they when they are mixed in the concrete they reduce the water content to a very big extent so even this problem can be overcome but you can just imagine 51 million uh, metric tons of uh, aggregate is needed annually whereas 302 million tons of uh, demolition debris is, is available all over the world so if some uh, uh, admixtures and plasticizers are added this problem can be overcome uh, let us see according to Bodin and Z Zaharia precautions must also be taken for pathological reactions such as alkali aggregate reaction and sulfate reaction also so normally in concrete what happens when we cast uh, when we construct structures in water bodies there are reactions which take place because of the different alkalis present in water because uh, in we have different alkalis in fresh water as well as different alkalis present in contaminated water also that times what happens there are chances of alkali reaction of alkali and sulfate reaction also to overcome this sulfate reaction and alkali reaction we can uh, mix different materials available which uh, uh, reduce this reactions also so even this can be done uh, so that is not a big uh, problem but the recycled aggregate uh, can be used uh, properly in a very good manner here let us see what is the processing now how is the processing done here let us see this is the particle size distribution you can see here the different particles of recycled aggregate as i told you first it is uh, done in two phases first the crushing is done it is crushed into smaller parts then it is sieved it is sieved as per our requirement we take this that size of aggregate here in this project the recycled concrete aggregate are obtained from big concrete blocks as i told you basically these uh, see we have concrete uh, which we place in slabs which we place in columns as well as in beams also normally the uh, the good amount of concrete is uh, contained in the columns and the beams basically in slabs uh, that amount of concrete is not that of good strength when compared to columns and beams so this uh, concrete can be taken from columns and as and uh, and from the beams here so this was taken from big concrete blocks these blocks are first crushed by using hammer to a size of 40 mm first they were reduced to a size of 40 mm or less then uh, using crusher due to this the recycle aggregates of size 10 mm to 20 mm are obtained first they were reduced to 40 mm size then again they were reduced to a size of 10 mm to 40 mm were obtained what happens when they are crushed they don't get crushed of uh, uh, they don't get crushed in a uh, of same sizes they are crushed in different sizes we can just sieve it and we can get our uh, the size of aggregate which we want here the, these recycled aggregates are wet they are dried by keeping an oven for 24 days 
24 days. So these uh, as they are crushed uh, because they go to different processes they are wet also but they are dried for 24 hours. Uh, after drying only we can use these aggregates they can't be used in the wet condition because the water content ratio water content what we have to pour into the concrete it can change. The different tests are carried out uh, uh, on finally obtained recycled concrete and mixed design of M20 by using IS 1260 of 2009 and 456 of 2000. So basically M20 grid of concrete is, is going to be prepared here. So different tests on these uh, uh, coarse aggregate or this concrete recycled concrete is we have to go for different uh, all those tests which we perform on uh, course aggregates all those tests have to be done here like we do different tests like water absorption test what amount of water is being uh, absorbed by these uh, by this course aggregate that test is done bulk density is done and different other tests are being performed on course aggregate all those tests have to be performed and then finally after uh, getting the desired values then we are uh, going to basically this is a case study which we are seeing a m20 grid of concrete is being uh, uh, mix uh, uh, is mixed and we will we'll be seeing how does it perform here. Let us see here. Uh, you can see the results the properties are now after this uh, sieving was done after the crushing was done you can see a uh, what all did we get after the crushing was done uh, you can see a uh, 40 mm it was crushed 40 mm was crushed uh, first the 40 mm was taken it was crushed then after sieving what did we get we got 20 mm of uh, about 96 percent of 20 mm was there uh, then we, we got 10 mm also 47 percent we got 4.75 also 47 uh, percent uh, 10 mm 47 4.74 10 point nine eight percent this was the aggregate after crushing and sieving this is what we got then we got 2.36 mm of 6.38 percent then we had 1.18 600 micron 150 micron also so all these were achieved after crushing after crushing basically they were taken they were crushed then they were sieved after sieving we got this uh, sizes of 40 mm 20 mm all these sizes but uh, though these sizes were got we will be taking uh, the desired size uh, in the future slides we will be seeing that some of the cumulative percentage retained the what was retained the sieve on the sieve what the aggregate coarse aggregate what was retained that was about 533.8 and fineness modulus was about uh, 5 uh, you can see here fineness modulus also we got that you can see 53 uh, it was 5.33 fineness modulus about 5.33 here so this is now after this we had to check these uh, properties also how do they perform in these properties we had to check this also you can see the specific gravity what we got is what 2.57 so it is within the limit specific limits uh, it is very good it is not so bad water absorption also only 1.2.21 percent of water absorption is there uh, so even that is uh, within the limits aggregate impact value impact test was done and that the aggregate impact value what we got was that was 30.69 percent so even that is very much good aggregate crushing value it was crushed also uh, Basically what is done is uh, it is sieved 12 mm uh, uh, dia, co uh, 12 mm uh, coarse aggregates are taken, they are, they are put, uh, they are sieved and then they are put into the mould and then they are crushed. After crushing we sieve it, uh, after sieving we see what amount of uh, aggregate is uh, retained that is about 29.86. So even the crushing test was done even that performed very well under these terms also but uh, let us see next the mixed proportions how it was mixed basically it was M20 as I had told you this is M20 mix M20 mix uh, what was the M20 mix the compressive strength increase with decrease in water cement ratio see you can see the compressive strength has increased but decrease in water cement ratio so little bit the water cement ratio has to be decreased but what will be the other problem when the water cement ratio the water content to the cement ratio is decreased there will be problems with workability we will have to check that also how does it perform in terms of workability also how easily we can mix it and how easily we can place it that we will have to check it here and is directly proportional to strength of blended concrete see the water cement ratio is directly proportional to strength of blended concrete concrete if the water cement ratio is decreased the strength of blended concrete is increased if it is the water cement ratio is increased then the strength is lost in this blended concrete 
target strength for M20 mix proportion is 20 plus 1.6 into 4 uh, equal to this is the target strength what we, which we need to achieve that is 26.6 MPa megapascals. We need to achieve this target strength that is 26.6 megapascals. Let us see now how does it perform. The ratio of cement, sand and aggregate was arrived at after uh, going to different tests the ratio was achieved as 1.1 1. Uh, 1 is to 2 1 is to, this was this is cement and this is the fine uh, aggregate and this is the coarse aggregate so this is cement and fine aggregate and coarse aggregate that is uh, cement was in uh, 1 1 is to 2.6 for fine aggregate and this recycled aggregate was 3.92 times of cement you can see here the cement uh, taken was 300 kg per meter cube and next the water was according to this uh, cement the water content is calculated that is w by c ratio is normally between 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 these are the values uh, you uh, uh, after checking that uh, 0 0.5 was taken here and it was calculated so you can see here uh, 0 0.5 close to half it is almost half 0 0.48 was taken 49 so 300 kg per meter cube was the cement content and then the amount of water is 148.8 kg per meter cube you can see fine aggregate is 2.65 2.65 times of cement that is 9796 kg and uh, coarse aggregate this recycled aggregate is 3.92 times of cement that is uh, 1173.46 kg you can see water cement ratio as I told you it is 0 0.5 0 0.5 is the water cement ratio and then fine aggregate to cement ratio is uh, 2.65 and this is coarse aggregate is 3.92 and this slump is 50 mm the slump what we got after mixing this the slump was uh, uh, slump test was done uh, then uh, in that slump test we got this slump as 50 mm which is within the prescribed limits so this uh, recycled concrete we uh, will uh, we'll have to check with different other proportions also this is done only for m20 grade of concrete a case study is uh, is seen here but for m25 how does it perform grade of concrete m30 how does it perform and what different changes we'll have to do what admixtures we'll have to add what plasticizers we'll have to add all this have to be uh, calculated very uh, uh, very correctly in a very correct manner let us see here the slum test just see here the slum test uh, the slum test was used to determine the workability of fresh concrete as I told you as the water cement ratio is uh, reduced then there are chances of the workability of concrete getting reduced here. So first we will have to see how does it uh, uh, perform under slum test. The slump less than 25 mm indicates a very stiff concrete very stiff concrete under 25 mm it is very stiff concrete uh, where it can't be mixed easily it can be placed easily because once the reinforcement has been tied there are some places is where uh, the reinforcement are tied very closely and those places what will happen if the concrete is not uh, workable it won't get inside those places and a uh, big voids can form and honeycombs can be formed there at those places so the slump less than 25 indicates uh, mm indicates very stiff concrete and slump more than more than 125 mm indicates a running concrete a good concrete more than 125 mm is a running concrete we don't need that also we need something between them so the results indicated 48 mm for 100 percent recycled aggregate and 55 mm for 75 percent recycled aggregate here what uh, two things have been done uh, one test what was done is 100 percent recycled aggregate was taken whereas in the other test what was done was only 75 percent of recycled aggregate was taken and that the rest of the 25 percent of fresh coarse aggregate was mixed with it so what how did it perform in terms of slum test is in 100 percent recycled aggregate we got 48 percent which is within the prescribed limits that is within 25 mm to 125 mm and whereas when this was mixed with 75 mm uh, recycled and 25 mm uh, good uh, aggregate it was 55 mm was the slump test we got variation of slump with percentage of RAC you can see just this is uh, uh, put in the tabular column you can see 48 mm 55 mm it is very good it is within the prescribed limits so 
let us see the other test compression test uh, basically this is a very important test we need to see how does uh, when uh, what is compression is uh, high amounts of uh, compression test in compression testing machine what happens cubes are made after the cubes are made they are uh, uh, hardened for 7 days 21 days and 28 days we check it for 7 14 and 21 days which sometimes we check for 28 days also not a problem we check how does this uh, concrete perform when the load is being uh, put onto this concrete on after 7 days of curing after 14 days of curing and after 21 days of curing how does this concrete perform under uh, uh, high amount of load coming onto it so here you can see the concrete mix having cement fine aggregate and coarse aggregate in the ratio of 1 is to 2.5 is to 3.3 3.92 was prepared then the components were mixed using machine in adding water cement ratio 0.5 so this was the mix then water cement ratio was 0.5 was added into it then the concrete mix was filled in 9 cube molds so this concrete what we had mixed it was filled in 9 cube molds basically they are of size uh, 115 to 150 uh, mm uh, kept for 24 hours they were kept for 24 hours. after 24 hours the specimens were demolded and kept immersed in water for 7 14 and 21 days 7 14 21 so after the uh, concrete has been poured into the mold they have to be demolded after 21 uh, 24 hours after 24 hours what do we do it we cure it into a curing tank these molds are put into a curing tank and some of the molds were put for 7 days some for 14 days and some for yeah, 21 days you can just see this here uh, this is important here because what happens after 7 days some uh, amount of strength is achieved after 14 days a little bit more strength is achieved and 21 days also a maximum amount of strength is achieved the, the, that is why we are seeing only for 7 14 and 21 days of curing here the, they were removed from for they were removed for testing the results are this these were the results what we got uh, you can see for 100 percent of recycled concrete uh, what we got the result for 7 days was 21 0.24 and for 75% uh, of recycled concrete it was 23.70 uh, hope you can remember in the previous uh, slides the target strength what we wanted was 26.6 MPA we have reached close to the target strength of 21.24 and 23.7 close to the target strength in the 7 days also only. You can see for 14 days how does it perform in 14 days the strength have been 23.62 and 24.92 for 100% of recycled aggregate and 75% of recycled aggregate they are still getting close to that target strength of M20 grade of concrete. You can see here now after 21 days how do they perform it is 24.88 and 25.99 you can see here 24.88 is very close to 26.6 MPA and 75% uh, has performed very much well when compared to 100% of recycled concrete. So this re recycled concrete when 100% is used after 21 days the strength what we got was 24.88 whereas the target strength what we wanted to achieve was 26.6 MPA and in 75% it was very close it has uh, come very close to that target strength. So uh, this means this uh, concrete has performed very well in terms of compressive strength also we had seen how does it, how, how did it perform in terms of workability it did perform very well uh, the uh, slump uh, 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 range what we got was it was 48 mm 55 mm whereas the slump range should be between 25 to 125 mm so it was it uh, performed very well in terms of workability and it it is it has performed well in terms of compression test also let us see this is how the compression test is uh, done you can see here the mold is prepared and it is put into the compression testing machine here you can see this is a compression testing machine and the load is applied this is the this is your mold this is a compression testing machine the load is applied from here slowly gradually the load is increased here and here this applies load from here from uh, 40 tons to 400 tons also the load is applied you can see after the first once this uh, mold uh, uh, gets crushed uh, slightly the testing machine is uh, is stopped and we see what is the strength we achieve uh, you can see here these are the cracks these are the cracks what was achieved here these are the cracks once the cracks are, are gone the compression machine is uh, stopped there and we we see the what is the strength uh, uh, the, this recycled aggregate concrete has taken 
So this is how the specimens are tested on the compression testing machine. Here the modulus of elasticity test is also done. In the modulus of elasticity uh, test you can see molded test specimens that is cylinders. In, the, in this what we do is we go for split tensile test. Split in split tensile test what we do is uh, we prepare the mold in a shape of a cylinder. The cylinder sizes are of uh, uh, height of 150 uh, mm and the diameter is uh, uh, very much less of 50 uh, uh, then uh, these cylinders are uh, 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 casted for uh, uh, 7 days, they are uh, uh, cured for 7 days, 14 days and 21 days, then they are checked after that. You can see molded test specimens were of the size 150 into 300 mm. I, I told you 150 and 300 mm, 3 such specimens were prepared using same concrete mix design and compressive strength after 21 days of curing. So after 21 days of curing, this was done. You can just see this graph here, how good did uh, uh, this uh, recycled concrete perform here. You can see this loading, this was the loading and uh, when loading was done and when unloading was done, you can see here specimen load variation with deflection in centimeters so it did deflect till here till here it did deflect till here you can just see here 40 centimeters it did deflect till 40 centimeters so this concrete is performing very well in terms of modulus of elasticity test also basically split tensile test is done and it is performing very well in terms of modulus of elasticity test so uh, recycled concrete is very good uh, it can be used in uh, uh, frequently if this, and thereby it can reduce the debris also what is which is coming from the demolition you can see a splitting tensile strength test of concrete as i had told you the split tensile test is done molded test specimens of size 115 to 300 mm three such specimens were used concrete mist designed and you can see the weight of the cylinder is 12.56 kg one specimen 12.46 and 12.6 kg these are the weight of the cylinders in kg ultimate load this was the load applied 190 kilonewton was applied and the strength what we got was 2.63 mpa and this year when 180 kilo uh, ultimate load of kilonewton was applied 180 kilonewton we got the strength of 2.54 mpa and 195 2 points so you can see it is performing very well it is performing very well so in terms of for split tensile test also this uh, concrete is performing very well it uh, performed very well in terms of comp compression test also split tensile test also it should be checked for flexure test also but still uh, that, that flexure test a little bit uh, uh, it, it requires reinforcement and other things also so most of the time the flexure test is also not done if the, if uh, this concrete performs well in terms of these tests it will be sufficient here let us see here see as i told you splitting tensile test of concrete you can see this cylinder it is placed uh, in this way the cylinder is uh, uh, placed for testing and the load is applied uh, this is the cylinder you can see as i told you the load is applied from this side and this cylinder has crushed here it is it has crushed here it is crushed here um, once it is crushed, uh, the load is uh, stopped and the strength is checked there. So it did get a very good strength of 2.6 MPA. So, so it uh, performed well here also. Let us see. Mm. Conclusion. Now we, we have seen uh, different tests. Uh, we wanted to check how does this recycle con uh, aggregate uh, perform uh, under different tests. So it did perform very well in different tests, but still uh, some uh, precautions should be taken where we can enhance the strength of this recycled aggregate concrete also. Using recycled fine aggregate in concrete can prove to be better, however, in less quantity. However, in less quantity. Uh, you can see here in less quantity why uh, you had seen when 75% of recycled aggregate was taken and 25% of good aggregate, uh, fresh aggregate was taken, that strength was more better where compared to 100% of recycled aggregate. So they do perform better in, but in less quantity and can be recommended for lower grade applications like lower layers of road such as sub base course and base courses. In lower layers of road as I had told you we have the subgrade soil then we have the sub base course and the base course at those places this concrete can be used very much effectively it is it does perform very well by using recycled concrete in construction it will maximize the economic 
economic and environment environmental benefits see see uh, these recycle uh, aggregates is uh, it will maximize the economic and environmental benefits uh, what will happen this uh, as this this debris is waste it is being thrown uh, uh, it, it is creating pollution in the environment it can if this is recycled properly it can generate uh, economy and well as it can reduce the environment waste also compressive strength of concrete will decrease uh, will decreases with increase in percentage of recycled aggregate for 7 14 21 days so though the compressive strength was good but still uh, it is a little bit lower than the target strength so thereby uh, because these structures are very important we can't take risk uh, of life by just uh, looking at these aspects so this can be used these recycled aggregate can be used but not uh, in a very higher percentage they should be used in a lower percentage and at those places where uh, there are uh, uh, chances of uh, less activity on those places yeah so this is the conclusion the modulus of elasticity of concrete is an important property in mixed design the modulus of elasticity of concrete also affects its strength if the modulus of, of elasticity is good the strength is also increased increased if the modulus of elasticity decreases the strength also decreases here so it perform this also should be seen you can see the splitting tensile strength is simple and gives uniform results the average tensile strength is 2.65 for 21 days test specimen so average what we got was it was 2.65 here we got it as 2.61 so in terms of split tensile test it performed better whereas in compressive test it didn't perform that much better you can see the average compressive strength for 100% recycle aggregate uh, is 24.98 and average compressive strength of 75% was uh, 25.99 whereas the target strength was 26.6 MPA though it was a, a little bit lower in the percentage but still uh, it is better if we can use this recycle aggregate at those places where there is not a uh, lot of uh, structural integrity is needed there uh, so this can be used in road sub bases and base courses also but still they can be tried at those places where the, there are not uh, huge loads coming onto the structure they are not huge uh, uh, live loads or huge any equipments being placed onto the structure at those places this recycle uh, aggregate will perform very much better it will give life it is very much better by using this recycle aggregates we can reduce uh, the building debris we can reduce the uh, debris which is in uh, in uh, millions of tons it can be reduced and this can be used effectively thereby generating economy also so hope uh, this session was uh, informative to you i request all of you all to please go through the session if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section i'll answer to you thank you thanks a lot